it's time for... What the heck is that? The first item we looked at last week belongs to Pauline Hansford. It's not an extendable gate to stop guinea pigs from entering the kitchen. Nor is it something to do with corsets. But congratulations to Jane Manwaring for recognising it as the Simplex measuring tool. It's an instrument that's tailor-made for sewing. Get it? Tailor-made? <laughs> oh, you're a tough crowd. So what is it? Let me explain. The Simplex expanding sewing gauge is a valuable tool for all sewing and craft projects. The gauge measures multiple equal distances for fast, accurate spacing of buttons, buttonholes, hooks, eyes, dress pleats, drapery pleats, tucks, shirring, and smocking. At least, that's what the instruction manual says. What the heck is shirring? Pauline? Jane? Anyway, on to our next item, submitted by Peter Leonard. This odd stick-like object is not a proctology instrument, as somebody suggested last week, but is in fact a carbon arc rod. Rods like this were used in projectors, like this one, in picture theatres throughout the world, from the silent era in the 1800s right up until the late 1950s, where they were replaced by xenon globes. The light was produced by two carbon rods inside the lamp house, and as electricity was passed through them, they produced an arc as the electricity jumped from one to the other, similar to how an arc welder operates. The light then passed through the projector, where the film was moving through, and out onto the cinema screen. You can see how powerful the light was in this experiment done without the lamp housing. As you can see, the box is about one metre away and very quickly starts to burn. The carbon arc as a light source was also used in things like searchlights during World War II due to the bright and powerful light that they produced. So that's what this tool is used for. This week, we have two more tools submitted by members of the church. Our first item is from Martin Sayers. Now, if you're hoping to ply Martin for the answer, let me remind you that Martin is a man of upstanding character, so bribes will not work with him. I, on the other hand, uh, well, I haven't been told what it is yet. So my guess is, uh, um, my guess is it belongs to someone named Fletcher. The 6.30 congregation may have an advantage when I tell you that our second item was submitted by Jared Ray. It's some sort of spike that's been chained to a brush of some sort. For, uh, clearly a tent peg with a built-in brush to clean the peg when you pack up the tent and remove the peg from the ground. Well, that's my guess. If you think you have a better guess, let me know. You can use the feedback form in the comments section of these videos or email me on info at sevenhillschurch.com.au.